Well, this is my first year as coordinator and I'm really fortunate that we have an incredible lineup already booked and ready to come. Um, we have our medallion winner for 2024, Cynthia Lytic smith who has a phenomenal career both in authorship and publishing. So I'm really excited that we get to honor her this year. And we also have other speakers like Lisa Klein Ransom and James Ransom who work together a lot. We have um, Pedro Martin who just won a Newbery honor and slipped in to the festival at the last minute and Jason Chen, the, the DeGrummond um, lecturer, Liz Kleinrock. April 10th through the 12th. And we sort of for many years have had specific days reserved for specific events. So each day has its own high point. Wednesday's high point is the medallion ceremony and luncheon. We also do the Magno Magnolia Awards on Wednesday. Thursday is sort of Ezra Jack Keats Day where we have all sorts of celebrations and ceremonies. And this year we're having a talk back panel with the Ezra Jack Keats Committee and winners. Our relationship with the Keats Foundation actually started in Keats' lifetime. So he came to USM in 1980. He was our USM medallion winner that year. And he just had a great time while he was here. He felt very warm and welcomed um, and he sadly passed away in 1983 um, and the Keats Foundation was formed about three years later um, to, to make awards uh, at the New York Public Library. Um, but during that time, our relationship grew with the EJK Foundation. We set up an EJK fellowship uh, fund for people to come do research here. Um, we set up a Keats luncheon and um, other Keats related <laughs> activities. And so the foundation and the Grumman just became good friends. And in 2012, um, the award came here. And since then our collaboration and our relationship has just continued to grow. I think it's important for a variety of reasons. Um, first of all, it's one of the few events in the South and in Mississippi particularly that really celebrates just children's literature and the type of talent that we ask to come and who agree to come is really incredible. So those are authors and illustrators who are coming here who may not have come here otherwise on a book tour and it gives people the opportunity to see them when they otherwise wouldn't get a chance to. Also, it's important that librarians and um, library professionals, school professionals get a chance to share their experiences with each other and learn from each other. I think that it's, it's really important to remember that both the Keats Award and the DeGrumman Collection were sort of founded with the idea of inclusivity in mind. Lena DeGrumman wrote up to 500 letters a week to children's authors and illustrators and she said I want to support all children and in the 1960s in Mississippi that was super important to those authors and illustrators and same with EJK he wanted to show real kids that he was seeing in New York in, in urban environments who may not get to see themselves in other picture books um, so I think both of those um, both co the collection and the award were founded with this forward-thinking idea that the Children's Book Festival also um, illuminates that we should be letting all children see themselves in children's books and you know we've got this eye towards diversity and inclusion and celebrating um, a great a great group of people and a great group of children. 